Hello everyone, my name is Rhoda Ebun, fashion and brand consultant and principal consultant for RTF Company. And today I'd like to share with you the importance of having PR for your fashion brand. Now what many people don't understand or people mix up is that a PR person is your marketing or sales personnel. No. Fashion PR or PR in general is different from marketing and sales. So I've worked with brands who you know try to tie sales or try to quantify PR to sales and, and marketing and all of that. You know, and you know usually you know ends up with like miscommunication. But the truth is that what your PR person does or what PR does for your brand is to create some sort of visibility for your brand, for the end users, for press, for people to know about your brand and not just know about your brand, like try to create a story, a relatable story for your brand or between your brand and the end users. So what your PR person does is to help your brand become more relatable, like help you with press releases, you know, um, connect your brand to the end consumer, you know, help, help you put together the story or um, connect the story between your collection and how you want your brand needs to, how your brand needs to be seen, you know, for people to talk about your brand, engage your brand with the media, engage your brand with your customers, but not necessarily sales. So, you know, when people ask me, so if I do PR, how much sales can I make? And I tell people that the return on the ROI on PR is not immediate sales. The ROI on PR ultimately is visibility. That's what PR does for your brand. So if you're an emerging brand or you're a startup brand, especially in fashion, you definitely need PR. Um, your PR person guides you on how to make the best of the media, the press, TV, editorials, magazines, how to garner attention, how to present your brand, how to communicate your brand's ethos, how to communicate your brand's vision to your customers and your end users. Now I'm going to tell you all the things that your PR person is not. Your PR person is not your personal assistant because I find that a lot of people don't know how to draw the line between their PR person and their personal assistant. So you find them demanding, uh, making requests that are not necessarily in the job description of a PR person. Yeah. <laughs> then the next thing is that your PR person is not your salesperson. So you cannot ask your PR person, um, so how much am I going to make? Or how much sales am I going to make? Or how many? Uh, no. Unless your PR person is doubling as your sales or your marketer, your PR person is really not your salesperson. If you want to, if your ROI, your immediate ROI is sales, then you need to develop some kind of sales strategy or marketing technique. Yes, yeah, sometimes your PR person can come up with a strategy that can ultimately bring sales or marketing, but that is not their immediate job as a PR person. Okay? <laughs> All right, and then again, like I said, you know, it is like the same thing. Your PR person is really not your marketer. So if you want like immediate sales, you want marketing, then you want to hire a salesperson or a marketing personnel. But if your target is visibility, especially if you're a startup brand where nobody knows about you, nobody knows about your brand ethos, nobody knows about you know what you do, you need you know PR. And PR is usually long term. So a lot of times um, for you to achieve a certain result um, for your brand, especially in terms of visibility, it's a long term ongoing process and the techniques actually usually come up as you go along. So sometimes a technique can work for a certain period and as you progress you want to change the technique or strategy to suit something else that you're trying to achieve. You know as a brand you can desire to hire um, an in-house PR person if you're sure of the technique of where your brand is going to or you can hire a freelancer or I hire an agency it all depends on what your brand's vision is and what your goal is and re really what you can afford to be honest so yeah that's it on but then again I'd like to assure you that if you're a startup brand or if you're an emerging brand or you know if you're changing direction or goals at the brand you definitely need PR so that's it for today and I'll see you next time when I share you fashion tips